What do you think? I think it's amazing! A skirt that's a video screen? Congratulations, Raspberry. What a brilliant invention. Thanks, Strawberry. Apple, can we jump online? Berry in the know is almost over. It's the Fashion Talk webcast we're doing this fashion show for. Oh! Mavis Maraschino here, thanking you for keeping your peepers glued to this episode of Barry in the Know, the Barry Betty Fashion World's go-to show to know what's nouveau, you know? <laughs> Don't forget our technology and fashion contest taking place tomorrow. <gasps> We have some spectacularly intriguing entries coming in from all over the Berry Bitty world. But the entry that's really frilling my frock is from Berry Bitty City and those fabulous fashionistas, Lemon Meringue and Ra Ra Raspberry Tort. Don't forget to be ready to text in your votes for your favorite techno fashion. Until then, Mavis Maraschino reminding you to ask yourselves, are you Barry in the know? When the Berry Bitty world sees Strawberry walk down the runway wearing my screen skirt and Lemon's mood nails, we'll absolutely, positively get the most votes! Lemon, your mood nails turn blue. Are you sad? I was just thinking... Raspberry's screen skirt is so outrageously wonderful! I don't know if my mood nails make much of a statement. Well, I think they're great. Thank you, but... Well, you'll barely see them in the webcast. They're not as prominent as, like, a hairstyle or... <gasps> ah! That's it! Forget mood nails. I'll do moody hair. We'll call them moodies! Whoa! Wow! It's kind of last minute. Can you pull that off in time? The contest is tomorrow. I can try. And I always have the mood nails as backup. Well, you better get to it. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Juice cables. <gasps> it's not alive, is it? No, it's the sparkleberry juice that makes it move that way. And the energy of the emotion of whoever wears it. Behold, moody hair! Hey, Orange, I haven't been to many fashion shows, but aren't you supposed to have a model? What's going on in the dressing room? Sorry, it's taking longer than we thought to reroute all the screen skirt cables. And we haven't even added the moody hair yet. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't try to change tops. Just model one outfit. Can't have a fashion show with only one outfit. We have to find a figure, a, a way. Uh, we gotta model at least four different tops with the screen skirt. But how? Even with both of us helping, she can't change that fast. Because you're always wanting us to Here be comes exactly peace and harmony. Hi, girls. We would love to watch your fashion show. Is that okay? What we? You dragged me here. Uh, a little early for Halloween, isn't it? You're very welcome to watch. Excuse us for a second. Psst, I've got an idea. Oh! Why not use the twins as models? That way people will think it's just one model, and you can have one on camera while the other is changing. Might work. But we wanted to feature you in your kitchen, Strawberry. Strawberry would still be in the video clips on the skirt. Good point. Let me ask him. I thought the theme was technology in fashion, not monotony in fashion. I'm sure they're just ironing out some glitches. Ironing? Fashion? Clothes? <laughs> Funny, huh? No. Um, excuse me. Sour? Sweet? We have a problem we think that you could help us with. We're wondering if you could take over from me in the fashion show and be our models? <gasps> oh, we're so flattered. Yes. W hold up. Why would anyone want to look at me? Sour, you're gorgeous. Well, of course you would say that. You look just like me. Well, you also have personal flair. I don't. You do. You have more. That's silly. Everyone will be looking at you instead of me. Won't. Well, girls. 
Only one of you will be on stage at a time. Uh, we have so much to do by tomorrow. Please, there's no time for arguments. There's always time for arguments. Like jelly beans, you can't have just one. Come on, Sour. It'll be fun. Oh... Okay... Thank you so much for thinking of us, Strawberry. Are you sure this moody hair thing is gonna work? Wow, it really does work. I'm impressed, Lemon. <sighs> is, um, something wrong, Sour? <sighs> Sweet's hair looks better than mine. Oh, I think I get it. Sour's hair is green with envy. <laughs> Trust me, Sour. If both your hairstyles are fabulous, it'll be just as much my reputation as yours. Now remember, girls, the fashion webcast is tonight, so you'll have to keep your moodies on for the rest of the day. Moodies? Oh, that's cute, Lemon. I'll see you at rehearsal in half an hour. We'll be there. What's with you and this we thing? We're twins. Huh, not if I can help it. Hi, Orange. You look nice today. Sweet! <gasps> Sour! So do you! Wow! Are those Lemon's moody hair pieces? She calls them moodies. Aren't they the best? She's so talented. Oh, is that what talent is? Who knew? We need to pick up a few things for the cafe. Happy to help. Uh, then help me understand why there's no whole wheat flour in this whole joint. Oh, uh... Uh, I just ran out this morning. Great. Well, I guess we can just forget about baking at the cafe this week. No pancakes, no pies, no muffins, no bread. Sour? Well, let's see. What if we try almond flour or coconut flour? Might be fun to improvise. No waffles, no puff pastries, no cake, and you can kiss cookies goodbye. Do you think this is funny? Ooh, what's this? My sweet sister? Angry? Uh, I'm not angry. Why would you say that? Because your hair is steaming! <gasps> this is so great! Oh, uh, golly. That's probably just static or... I don't know. <laughs> Aw, your hair is blushing. That's awesome! Your hair is doing a joy dance. You must be very happy. Happy? I am not. I was just seeing what the hair is doing, and Lemon told me these do's don't lie. But I've never told a lie in my life. That's just so wrong. As if. Gee, don't get your hair to tangle. <gasps> Orange. I'm so glad those things are locked in there. Did I or didn't I? Did you or didn't you what? Close the back window this morning? <gasps> I didn't. Raspberry, are you here? Two runaway hair extensions. With attitudes. Those twins are never on time. Hello? Oh, hi, Strawberry. You're where? They what? <laughs> Are they wearing hats from my new puppy fashion? No one's supposed to see those until I release my spring line. Did you have to make them so... so... 
Moody? I didn't realize how much out-of-control emotion those twins had roaring around inside them. Must have blown their circuits. Oh, yoo-hoo! Oh, cutie Moody's! That's right, it's me. Come to Mama! <laughs> I sure love their Mama. some wigged out wiglet on my head. Lemon, we'll do anything to help you with the show. Go ahead and make a fool of yourselves in front of all the Berry Bitty world, but you can count me out. Sour, don't you think you're sounding just a little bit, um... Selfish? Yes. No. Raspberry, you better go ahead without me and just do the show with your skirt. I'm not doing the fashion show without you. We're a team, Lemon. Thanks, Raspberry. <laughs> I really thought I had something with my original vision. What was that? A hair cam that displays on Raspberry's skirt. But I couldn't hide the cameras and cables well enough. Cool. You know, I bet you I could hide cameras in these barrettes. You could? And I think I could make them wireless. No cables to mess with. You could? But now it really is last minute. I don't know if we can do it. I thought I could run the cafe. I failed. I thought I could make moody hair. Failure. Lemon, just do your best. Yes, but it's important that the audience thinks you and Sweet are the same model. That's the problem. I don't want to be the same as her. Huh, but Sour, you agreed. I didn't. You twisted my arm. Okay, guys, everything's ready with the Berry Web hookup. When this light goes red, the webcams will be live. And you're on. Every Berry in the No Fan in the Berry Bitty world will be streaming your fashion show. Thanks, Apple. Great job. Are you done with me yet? Uh -huh. and, uh -huh. and yes. Uh uh uh. <sighs> Lemon, you're a genius. Sour, you look gorgeous. You're just saying that because now I look like you. Oh, Sour, I'm sorry, but please, can't you try and be a good sport? Hi, sweet. Whoa, you look terrific. I am not sweet. Uh, that is, I am not responsible. It's all due to Lemon's genius and yours, Apple. Look at all this. How does this work? This will show what's airing on Barry in the Know, and this shows what our webcams on stage are filming live. Whatever. I mean, Amazing! You're so talented! And when the light turns and red... Never mind that. Uh, how is it all... Uh, plugged in? Well, the Sparkleberry Juice power cables are connected Apple, to the... Apple! Can you help me with this light stand? Sure! Excuse me. Power cable, power cable. Yeah. <gasps> That'll do, Apple. Thanks. Anytime. Ah, it's down. Why is it down? Uh, hmm. I must have crashed the system with those Brett cams. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Apple, we're ready to go in 
10. Yeah, no worries. Maraschino here. Hello, fans. Are you Barry in the know? <laughs> well, we're about to find out when we begin our first fashion show contest. Merciful Madras, the submission from Barry Betty City is broadcasting early. <laughs> they weren't supposed to start for another few minutes, but, uh, ooh, it looks like something interesting is going on there. <laughs> the latex can wait. We take you live to Berry Bitty City. Lemon! Lemon, where are you? Five minutes! We gotta get the barrette cameras in the twins' hair! Uh, I can't find the models! What? They must be over there! Why did you say I twisted your arm? It's so clear now! This was all your planning to get us to look exactly the same. Of all the underhanded... But you know this fashion show wasn't my idea. I don't know that. You actually believe we all plotted behind your back? Anything's possible. It's only for the show anyway. It's not like you have to look like me forever. Hello? We're twins? Places, people! Three minutes to airtime! <laughs> what is it? They're loose! Who's loose? <laughs> Strawberry, you identity saboteur, helping Sweet eradicate any last bit of individuality I have. She never. There you uh, are. Quick, we're live in two. More like in one. First in Boysenberries. Get those barrette cams in their hair. Where'd they go? Your hair looks better than mine. I'm not setting a foot on that catwalk until I look as good. But your hair looks good, too. Does not. Does, too. Hey, Apple. Is that light supposed to be on? What light? That red one. <gasps> your fault, Apple. It's mine. What do you mean, Sour? I fooled around with Apple's computer stuff. I was trying to... Well, pull the plug on the whole show. And seeing the playback of how awful I treated my sister, I never knew how... how awful I was. You're leaving? You'll be better off without me. Sweet will stay and help you in the cafe. Don't count on it. Sweet? What are you... You didn't do anything wrong. You never do. You're my sister. I stick with you no matter what. Oh, sweet. I'm sorry. Everywhere we go, I wear out our welcome. You can't leave! I've been all over, and I promise, this place is the best. You'll see. This is the kind of place where you can wear out your welcome and still be welcome. Because you're loved. That's right. Please don't go. Really? You'll forgive me? Us. Us. We'll both try and get along better. <laughs> of course. <sighs> yeah. 
Here goes. Bouncy Myrtleberries! <laughs> I can't believe this! Mm, that bad, huh? No! No, listen! Congratulations to Berry Bitty City for winning Berry in the Nose Fashion Contest! What? How inventive and avant-garde of you to enter a comedy fashion show! <laughs> Your admirer, Mavis Maraschino. We won? So, Lemon, I forgot to ask. <laughs> what did you end up doing with those hair thingies? The Moody's? They disappeared. Thank goodness we've seen the last of them. Morning, Postmaster. Oh, getting ready for your vacation, I see. Oh, feel the chill in that breeze. Yeah, not much summer left. We're trying to get going before it's over. Oh, I nearly forgot. Do you have anything for me today? Well, 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 well. <laughs> what have we here? Hmm. Now, that's either six dozen dried kidney beans, or... The maracas I ordered last week! Thank you, Postmaster! These are for our trip. When we get to Berry Breezy Bay Resort, they're gonna know we arrived! <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> well, have a wonderful trip, Ms. Pudding. that I'm forgetting. <laughs> Could it be... this? <laughs> Delivery from Happy Pappy Snapapple Farm. Perfect! <laughs> Thank you. Now I can finish my Snappy Apple Apple Snacks. Would you like some? Oh, they're very good. Nope, can't. I'm on that new buttercup diet. <laughs> well, happy vacation. I'm so excited. It's like I'm there. <laughs> We're not there yet. We will be tomorrow. It's all I can think about. All I want to do is dance and dance. Oh, I can't wait to move into our perfect peach pink palace. <gasps> what do you think? I love it! And I'll be surfing those perfect azure waves. And me? I'm gonna be sunbathing under their perfect rows of coconut palms. And I am just gonna wanna sing. Beyond the berry breeze, an island waits for me. A tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea. Watching the waves all rolling by. Come on, girls, let's have some fun. Let's dance all day under the sun. Because the sunshine, girls, tap your feet to the beat now. Sunshine, girls, jump up, move to the groove. Yeah. Sway to the left, strike the pose. Bounce, bounce, bounce like a beach ball. With Sunscreen lotion check. Swimsuits check. Beach towels check. Second set of beach towels are when the first set's wet. Check. Uh oh. Wow, Orange. Are you ever organized? Huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just the vacation checklist that I made. Whoa, look at you. I've hardly started packing and already I've forgotten more than I can remember. Well, like I always say, you can never be too organized. I mean, what if we got all the way to Berry Breezy Bay Resort and forget something really important? Good point. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a copy of your checklist that I could borrow, would you? Just so happens that the first item on my list was to make copies of the list for everybody. That's so very nice. Here you go. Orange's official list of everything we need to bring. 
I even made a list of all the lists I made. Organization! That's the key to a happy vacation. Well, we better get busy. We've got a big day tomorrow. See you later. Right, better hurry. Everybody ready to go? Everybody check and double check their lists? Yep. There's nothing to do now but wait for the butterfly bus. According to the schedule, it should be here. Punctuality. That's the key to a happy vacation. Ah, I think I'll practice napping on the beach. I think I'll practice my nifty new surf move. It's called... <sighs> the snooze. <laughs> <laughs> I hear something coming! Just the breeze. Oh, oh, is that it? Oh, guess not. Sorry, this letter was delayed by bad weather. It just arrived. Oh, it's from the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. We are happy that you will be visiting us. <laughs> Next year? What are these hotel years years from now? We regret to inform you the resort has been closed early due to very, very breezy weather. It must be a joke. But look, there's more. This is no joke. Sorry. I really had my heart set on Berry Breezy Bay. I could almost feel that peach pink sand between my toes. <sighs> oh, oh, maybe we could go to the mountains instead. Except it's kind of breezier there. But there must be other resorts. Yes, I'll start researching them. Oh, great idea. I bet we can find something just like Berry Breezy Bay. Um, I'm afraid that won't work. Summer is just about over. There's no time to plan a whole new trip. You. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> there aren't going to be any sand castles in the peach pink sand. No surfing those perfect azure waves. And no sunbathing under the perfect rows of coconut palms. But why not? Why not? Because the whole island is closed. Who says we have to go to the island? What are we gonna do? Bring the island here? Yep. Yeah, right. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> <laughs> if we can't go to the island, why don't we bring the island here? Do you know what she's talking about? Mm hmm. More or less. Mostly less. Here, let me show you. I'll build us a perfect copy of Very Breezy Bay Resort. With a beach and palms and sand castles. But where? Right here, on the shore of Very Bitty Lake. It'll be like we're really there. But it'll be our own place. A place where everyone in Very Bitty City can vacation. Someday, we could even have guests. Just like a real resort. I don't know, Orange. Do you think it's a bit ambitious? Yeah, it's maybe just a little itsy bitsy bit impractical, if not undoable. Sure, it's ambitious, impractical, undoable, and downright impossible. That's why I'm the one to make it happen. Just gonna take some good old fashioned hard work. We're sun, shine, girls. Do -do 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 -do. Do you really think she can pull this off? It's going to be a whole lot of work. Maybe she's bitten off more than she can chew. I sure don't want her to be disappointed. Maybe she really can make it happen if we help her. What do you say, girls? We yeah, have to do it, it together. Come on, guys. Let's get going. Can we help you, Orange? Well, 
Let's see. Oh, why, yes, yes, you can. Lemon, you help Bear can bloom with palms. Blueberry, we need chairs over there. Plum, strawberry, we need a tropical menu. Raspberry, you work with Bear can Bill on the sand. Cherry, you start with Bear One down, 2,000 loads to go. Hmm, this is more red than peach pink. Berry Breezy Bay is famous for its peach pink sand. See? What if we try adding some pink grapefruit juice to it? That might make it pinker. Good thinking, Strawberry. You and Lemon can... <gasps> oh, no. Um, no, 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 Cherry! The chairs go over here. Not too bad, I think, if I do say so myself. Not bad, but not perfect. It has to look exactly like the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. They are famous for their exact replica sandcastle. Here, like this. But how do I... I mean, how can I... It's no big deal. All you have to do is tear this down and start all over. That's perfect! Just the right size for transplanting our Berry Bitty Coconut Palms. Um, where are our Berry Bitty Coconut Palms? Coming right up! I don't know how bitty they are, though. My Berry Bitty plant food is having a bit of trouble trying to bittyize these big boys. How much trouble? Uh, let's just say they're smaller than big, but bigger than bitty. Uh, which could be good, depending. Depending on what? On um, how much shade you want. Let's bring one of them out! The smallest one, please! Too much shade. I agree. Just another day or so, and I'll be able to grow them to very bitty size. All right, send it back to the nursery. Oh, ah! hmm, no. Let's see. What's next? Hey, Orange, you want to have a look at this? Sure, Raspberry. Um, where is it? Oh, it, um, <laughs> uh, hmm, I, I could have sworn, but I, huh. Maybe we should try some lemonade. Well, that's very pretty. Oh, but it sure is starting to smell awful. Oh, no, 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 that's not it. It has to be exactly like the sand at Berry Breezy Bay. Well, we won't be able to call this Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Okay, team, let's try the wind machine. No, no, I can barely feel that. I want it to be a very big breeze. Try it again. Put a little more oomph into it. <laughs> tried your very best. But it was a very big project. Hmm? What were you saying? The resort? All that work? Blown away? Remember? I figured out the problem. My first sketch was just plain wrong. I downloaded the plans for Berry Breezy Bay from the internet. Now I can make it exactly like the real thing. Of course, we're going to have to work really, really hard to build this. Teamwork. That's the key. Meet me in five minutes and I'll hand out your new assignments. 
She can't be serious. They can't build something like that. There's no way. She's just setting herself up for another disappointment. <sighs> I'll go talk with her. 19 and 20. Orange? Hi, Strawberry. Glad you came. You can help me start digging the foundation for the hotel. Cherry can help mix cement. Plum can put in the plumbing. Raspberry's got the window shades and wallpaper. Lemon can lay the floor. I'll do the roof. And Blueberry can... Blueberry can... Hey, where are Cherry and Plum and Raspberry and Lemon and Blueberry? We're on a tight schedule. They're, uh... Not coming. Why not? <gasps> What's wrong? Well, I think maybe you have the wrong blueprints. I do? <gasps> oh, no! Oh, for a minute there, I thought I'd made a mistake or something. Nope, these are the plans, all right. The plans they used to build the real resort. See? Every detail is exactly, precisely the same as on Berry Breezy Island. The beach, the hotel, the chairs, the palms. But what about these? Oh, those aren't any good. Oh, I think they are. Aw, oh, come on. Just look. The details are all off. See that beach? Way too small. And the chairs? They're in the wrong place. And don't you think this is the most important detail? Huh? What detail? This. Right here. That's us having fun, having a great vacation together. Isn't that what matters most? Well, but... Wouldn't it be more fun with a big pink beach like this? And real palm trees like these? And... Mm, I think what makes it fun is us being together. Having fun. Yeah. Come to think of it, I haven't been much fun. I guess I've been kind of bossy. We don't want to give up on helping you with your dream, but... You know, maybe we don't need a big pink beach. Maybe we don't need palm trees. What if we build a tropical paradise that's just right for us? <laughs> that sounds like a very good idea, Orange. And what if I try to have more fun building it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> hmm? Hmm. And Raspberry, build any kind of sandcastle you want. Just have fun doing it. <laughs> Oh, I have so many this is ideas. Be great. Come on, let's get going. shade of pink. Maybe the coconuts aren't in perfect rows, but mmm, they taste great in these pies. Who needs the very breezy bay hotel when we have beach bungalows just right for us? Maybe it isn't exactly like that other place, but this is better because we built it together. Orange, will you do the honors? I'd be happy to. My friends, tomorrow Vacation begins! Welcome to our very own Berry Bitty Resort! Yeah! <laughs> Beyond the berry breeze, an island waits for me. Tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea, watching the waves all rolling by. Come on, girls, let's have some fun. Let's dance all
to explore Down on the ocean floor Dive in and swim around for a while Come on girls, let's have some fun Let's dance all day under the sun Because we're sunshine girls Tap your feet to the beat now Sunshine girls Jump up, move to the groove yeah. Sway to the light Pretty good, don't you think? It's paradise, Orange. <laughs> Our very own tropical paradise. Because we're together, being with friends. That's the key. Yeehaw! <laughs> hey, look, everybody! Surf's up! For the mail. <laughs> Marketplace all closed up? Yep, I did all the stuff you asked. Great, thank you. Guess we're all set to go as soon as the girls get here. Oh, I'm so excited to show you and Sweet and Sour how beautiful our countryside is. Your guys' first Berry Bitty City annual camp out. Uh, Strop, I think I've been on a few campouts in my day. <laughs> I know you have, Apple, but this is your first one with me. And that's very special to me. Oh, yeah, me too. What you got there? This is the perfect opportunity for me to film a camping video. I'm going to set up a link on my very best bits page. So, like a travel log? My night in the wilderness? Mm, not exactly. More like Apple's step-by-step -step guide on how to set up camp the right and proper Apple way. Sounds like a big project. No task is too big when it comes to teaching the world the science of camping in the outdoors. Sounds great, but you know, this camp out is for fun and friends, not work. So I hope you won't be too busy to have fun, too. Sour! Sweet! Are you ready? Hi, Apple. Where is everyone? I don't know if this great outdoors thing is gonna be so great. Sour, we haven't even left yet. That's the best time to rethink going somewhere. That's a sweet camera, Apple. <laughs> sweet, get it? <laughs> <laughs> that does look pretty pro. Shooting a big movie? Camping tutorial. Oh, wow, great idea. A movie all about us? Oh, a video of our camp out? Uh, no, actually, none of you are in it, just me. I'm gonna demonstrate in high definition, stop motion, time lapse photography how to set up a camp, the fine points of how to properly pitch a tent, the do's and don'ts of unrolling a sleeping bag, how to avoid the heartbreak of a cold cook stove, two hours packed with vital information every camper needs to know. Oh. Uh Two hours? And an extra half hour of exclusive bonus material. Camping tutorial, the making of. I need a cloth to clean this with. Do you have one, Strop? Sure, in the kitchen. Are we ever going? Somewhere out there is a poison ivy plant with my name on it. We're coming! Huh? Wait for us! <sighs> Sorry, we're late, Strawberry. Whew. Almost forgot the supplies Sweet asked for. No worries. So, Orange, you got marshmallows? Check. Cherry's got them in her pack. Girls, I'm so excited to make you my special s'more than s'mores recipe. 
It's regular s'mores, you know, graham crackers, marshmallows, and chocolate bar, with my unique twist, strawberry slices and shaved almond. Yum, says plum. Neat, says sweet. <laughs> How nut says orange. Uh, that doesn't rhyme. No, no, the almond. I think I left it on the counter in my store. I'll go with you. And chocolate milk. You can't have a campfire without hot chocolate. Plum's got it in her canteen. Perfect. We'll heat it up on our campfire and then you all know what's next. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's next? We put the fire out? <sighs> it's one of our long-standing campout traditions. Tall tales. Tall tales? Yeah. We make up fun stories, like tales, like make-believe, and tell them around the campfire. Everyone gets a turn. The wilder, more outrageous, the better. Sounds outrageously thrilling. How about short tales, so we can get home sooner? <laughs> You're too funny, Sour. All ready. Are we good? <sighs> oh, my God. Got it. We're all set. Let's do it. up with her. You do that. I'm gonna take a little break. <sighs> Have a good See break, Cherry. Idea. Enjoy your rest, Cherry. <sighs> now that looks like the best idea I've seen all day. Phew. You said it. Uh, guys? That isn't the chocolate milk for the hot chocolate around the campfire tonight, is it? Uh, and isn't that almond supposed to be for sweet special s'more than s'mores recipe? Uh, well, but n no one's gonna miss just one little sip. No one's gonna miss one little nibble. Well, then I'm having a marshmallow. No one will miss just one, right? <sighs> We're here. About time. Very beautiful meadow, our old campground. What a gorgeous spot. Huh? Apple, wow, you're really going to town. The first part of assembling a tent is to lay out all your equipment in a neat and orderly manner. I'm so sorry, but this is the spot where we usually build the campfire. It is? And we set up all our sleeping bags just over there. And our cooking equipment here, near the campfire. Can I help you move your... set over to the edge of the meadow? That's okay, Strawberry. I want to keep it in a certain order, so I'll do it myself. You guys go ahead. Don't mind me. in the very bitty world has happened to Orange, Cherry, and Plum. Maybe they got smart and went home. Sour. So, where's the marshmallows? I've got my stick. Let's get roasting. That's for after dinner. And we can't start dinner until we find the other girls. I'll go back down the trail and look for them, Strawberry. Thanks, sweet. I'll come with you. <gasps> Cherry! Plum! Orange! Where have you been? Are you all right? 
So sorry, Strawberry. Long story. You wouldn't even believe it. Try me. Well, I was just taking a little rest stop with Orange and Plum, just minding our own business, not bothering a soul, when all of a sudden. <gasps> Marshmallows. But suddenly, Orange ran out of tree. Plum and I had to think fast. She stuck a perfect ten landing. <laughs> How did you ever get the backpack back? Oh, yeah, we uh, made a trade with the bird. Orange's almond for my backpack. You mean there's not going to be any shaved almonds for my s'more than s'mores? Come on, is that what really made you late? No, it's not. <gasps> Cherry's just trying to cover up for me. The truth is, it was all my fault. It was the canteen of chocolate milk. <laughs> Like she said, we was about halfway up the trace, resting her dogs for a spell. Hey now, Plum, ain't that for strawberries, hot chocolate? We're meant to save that for around the campfire. Ah, oh, dang nabbit, y'all are right. Must be off my rocker. Then I up and recollected I'd been hankering to show the gals a new dance routine I'd been working on. Now, looky here. Might come in handy next time we're high stepping at a square dance. <gasps> Sizzling sassafras! <laughs> oh, flusteration. It went down a critter hole. Boy, howdy. We're in for now. That strawberry's hot chocolate. Gotta get it back. We're with you, partner. Brisk up, gals. Here goes another. So back up, we clomp down into that fire hole. Hold your horses now. Where'd that canteen get to? By all rights, should be right here. <gasps> well, there we was, down a hole without a coil. And then we heard something that made us wish we was anywhere but there. <gasps> hey, now. That canteen is iron, Buster. Gotta hand it over real friendly-like. Wouldn't you know it? That critter was skittish as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Balleration. Well, now the hair's in the butter. After that varmint! Easy now, boy. Easy. Keep him in the corral. Now, don't get his dander up. I'm gonna... He's on the prod, Plum. You best step lively. And I leapt up on him. Never have you seen such a catawumpus. Yeah! Ride him, Plum! Stick to your saddle. Rain him in! Get up, cowgirl! Woo! Yeah! Woo -woo. Well, I'm here to tell you, it was a rip snorting ride. That varmint threw me and was about to head for the high horizon. We could see we had just as much a chance taking our loop back as catching a weasel asleep. But we made a fair shake in the end. What do you think there, partner? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, big fella. We love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> so... No almond shavings for my s'more than s'mores? <laughs> Come on. What really made you late? Okay, okay, here's the deal. Uh, it was really, uh, well, all my fault. The truth is... I put...
put it to you, Orange. Might that be the very almond intended for sweet s'more than s'mores recipe? What? Why, indeed it is. Oh, whatever was I thinking, I shall squirrel it away, as they say, until an appropriate occasion calls forth the necessity to bring it out in the open. A hey, what? Well said, Orange. Well said. Uh -huh. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Is that polite? Cheeky fellow, eh, what? I say, fellow travellers, let's tarry no longer in this dreadful spot. Off we go! Beg pardon? Run! I must confess, I read like the very dickens. And who wouldn't, being chivied by a fiend, set on Poloning Sweet's precious almond? I believe I have a strategy that I suspect might outwit this thieving rapscallion. Have you? Do tell. <gasps> I say, old girl, capital idea. Our tall tales? What tall tales? Wait a minute. Oh no! Sweet, you weren't there! Wasn't where? This morning at the cafe when I explained about our tradition of telling tall tales. You went with Orange and. Oh, I'm sorry. Sweet. It's something we always do for fun around the campfire. We make up outrageous stories. Oh. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> oh, my goodness. I thought all those stories were real. <laughs> nah, it's all just silly stuff. <laughs> Plum and Cherry and I will get more kindling since we were late and couldn't help set up camp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm dying to know what really happened. What really took you so long? Oh, Strawberry. I don't know, it's it's just too embarrassing. Come on. Well, it's like this. You see, we just stopped to take a break. Now that looks like the best idea I've seen all day. You said it. Uh, guys, that isn't the chocolate milk for the hot chocolate around the campfire tonight, is it? supposed to be for sweet special s'more than s'mores recipe? Uh, well, but no one's gonna miss just one little sip. No one's gonna miss one little nibble. Well, then I'm having a marshmallow. No one will miss just one, right? Hey, check it! My new dance routine! Are so 
busted. No chocolate for strawberry? No marshmallows for sweets s'more than s'mores? I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. We better run back to my store. of it sometime. A tale of twins in the very deep, dark forest. No such place. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I gotta get back to work. What was that? My instructional camping video. No, what did you mean by no such place? It's just that everywhere I've been, and I've been almost everywhere there is to go, I've never heard of very deep, dark forest. Yeah? Well, maybe you got a better story? Ooh, I don't know. I think Sour and Sweet's adventure would be hard to top. Oh, I could top it. Easy peasy. Then why don't you? Here, stay with us. Tell us a story. Yeah! yeah. Come on, Apple. We want to hear about your big adventure that's more exciting, uh, thrilling, and daring than the one Sour and Sweet just told. Okay, I'll just make it quick. Well, this story, it was the kind of thing that happens to me all the time. I'm sure. Well, it was... Adventure! Thrills! Danger! That's my life, don't you know? This particular time, I was reporting on the Berry Bitty Great Race for my Berry Best Bits travel page. The four-leg course was an equestrian-style cross-country, a mountain climb, a hot air balloon race, and a sailboat race. Of course, to report it, <laughs> I had to enter it. Ah, thank you, Tea Time. Riders to your mouth. <gasps> These are the moments an adventurer lives for. <laughs> Contestants were already mounted on their steeds. I gave them a sportsmanly nod of encouragement. <gasps> Little did I know, they had no intention of behaving in a sporting way. There were Mr. McSnivels, Guava Guttersnipe, and Cruddy Do No Good. I felt there was something oddly sinister in the way they smiled back at me. But I paid it no mind at the time. Look at her. Not enough she's won 199 races. She has to make it 200. Greed, I tell you, greed! Wretched girl! 
And her little turtle, too. This time, she'll never reach the finish line. <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it. Or do no good about it. <laughs> Sun in your face, the wind in your hair, the power of your noble steed leaping over every obstacle. What happened next, Apple? Yes, then what? Well, Tea Time and I were doing great. Way ahead of the pack. <laughs> ahead already? What a surprise. Nah, it wasn't any surprise. It looked like things were gonna turn out exactly like the other 199 races I'd won. But then, all of a sudden, without any warning, dastardly deeds threatened to thwart my stellar performance. What I didn't know was evil doings were afoot. Rabbit can resist it. Apple Dumplin's chance to win is doomed. <laughs> Genius, Mr. McSnibbles. Pure G. Uh, just really smart. Thank you, Miss Guttersnipe. of geometry and mechanical engineering, I figured out just what to do. This one. <gasps> Curses! Foiled again! The villains! <laughs> what a couple of cheaters they were! Unbelievable! I mean, incredible! I mean, that's really obnoxious. 
I hope that was the last you saw of them. Um, not quite. Here, Apple, try some hot chocolate. Mmm, that's really good. Okay, well, what happened next? Did you win the race? Yeah, what do you mean, not quite? Ugh, you mean there's more? Oh, yeah. Did Gutter Snipe and McSnivels come back? They did indeed. Because their dastardly deeds in the cross-country race were only the beginning of their, um, dastardliness. Tea time. We just gotta get to the top, down the other side, fly a hot air balloon to the lake, and sail across it to the finish line. Easy peasy. Always going swimmingly, or should I say climbingly, when out of a blue and sunny sky, we were hit by a blizzard. What I didn't know at the time was, it wasn't a blizzard at all. Like we were doomed. Until, all of a sudden, I spotted shelter. What was that? The legendary abominable snow beast of very big. Some may have trembled in fear. Some may have fled for their very lives. Not me. No matter what the cost, I had to find out what it was. Well, what was it? What did you find? Weren't you afraid? Me? <laughs> Terrified. Farther and farther, we ventured into the darkness, not knowing what sort of beast we would encounter. For the love of Lederhosen, who are you? I'm Apple Dumplin', and this is Tea Time Turtle. We're competing in the very bitty great race. I'm Ilsa, and this is my twin sister Elsa. Do you yodel? Do I what? Yodel. Like this. Yole, yole, yole. Wait! We agreed to yodel always in the key of B flat. Ah, says you, it was the key of C. B flat. C. B flat. C. Um, excuse me. Perhaps this key would work for both of you. Bless my strudel, a D-sharp person. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, shall we try? And the one, and the two. Yole, yole, yole. My goodness gracious, we rocked! <laughs> You better get over there. You are in first place. You want to keep it that way, yeah? Well, this tunnel turned out to be kind of a shortcut. So I think I better wait until the rest of the contestants catch up. Only fair. Ugh, oh, sauerkraut, who will know? You could get a big head start. A race is only fun if it's fair. Come on, tea time. We'll wait at the balloon launch. Good luck, Apple Dumpling. And remember, wherever you go, keep yodeling! A race is only fun if it's fair. That's what I told him. So you can imagine my shock to find Cruddy do no good, doing no good. What'd she do? What was it? Untying all the balloons so she wouldn't have any competition. You can't do that! It's not fair! <clears throat> fair schmear! <sighs> See if I care! <laughs> she did it! Wait! Look! Hold on, tea time! <laughs> Looks like we lost him. 
no getting around it. We were gonna crash. There was nothing left to drop overboard to lighten the load. Nothing left but me. Disaster, only to discover we were lost in the mountain wilderness. And then... Look, Tea Time! The St. Bernard Rescue Dog here to save us! <laughs> he led us to a tropical fruit stand on the mountain. A tropical fruit stand <laughs> on a mountain? Is this not getting just a bit ridiculous? May I continue? Oh, oh yes! yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Morning or noonin' or afternoonin'. Welcome to Fern Fron's Tropical Fruit Stand. I'm Fern Fron, but you can call me Fern, friend. Nice to meet you, friend. Fern, uh, I'm Apple Dumplin', and I'm competing in the Berry Bitty Great Race. Ooh, you're about a mountain off course. I saw some real treachery going on up there in the sky. Could it be someone wasn't playing nice with others? Hmm, pretty much, yeah. Hmm, sorry about that. How about a frozen banana chocolate pop? A Fern Franz specialty. Actually, would it be possible for me to purchase this banana peel? Certainly, but what would you want with that? Uh, ha! Looks like you've got someone who doesn't play well with others heading your way. Peel? Sure thing. Come on, Tea Time. They're gaining on us. <gasps> hey, why? That's. That's. Stealing! Stealing, schmealing. After that peeling. Hey, that's stealing too. That's right. One bad. do no good. In all my days as head official of the Berry Bitty Great Race, never have I seen the level of treachery and dastardliness that you have displayed today. Wait, it's true. You never have seen, because you weren't there. You didn't see us. How do you know we did those dastardly villainy things we did? Uh, you say we did. I'm with Cruddy. Where are your witnesses? Witnesses, you say? Allow me to introduce you to our race rule monitors. You think we just sit around all day and yodel? We've been keeping an eye on you. <gasps> and it wasn't just bad deeds they were monitoring either. Apple Dumpling? For winning the race, and most importantly, for your good sportsmanship, I award you... 
first prize. What a great <laughs> story! <laughs> what great imagination! Apple's a tall tale natural! Good job, Apple. Gotta admit, that was the best story yet. <sighs> you win first prize for imagination. Imagination? What do you mean? I didn't make it up. Every word was true. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Sure it was. Tea time? My scrapbook, please. Thank you. Wow. Wait, you mean that story you told really was real? Well, sure. Wasn't yours? No. no. We made it up. What? Why? It's our camp out <laughs> tradition. <laughs> Roasting marshmallows, hot chocolates, sitting around the campfire telling tall tales. We do it every year. Didn't you hear us talking about telling tall tales? Uh, no. I guess I was working on my camping video and I missed it. <laughs> you didn't miss it, because you told a great story. Well, if I can make up a story, the very bitty great race is nothing compared to what I could tell in a tall tale. But as it stands now, I'd say sour and sweet win first prize for imagination. Thanks, but you can't give this to us. No, no, it's okay. I've won 200 of them. In fact, did I ever tell you about the trans-desert treasure of the Lost Pyramid Road Rally? No. But, um, what about your video project? Ah, that can wait. We're on a camp out. I want to do what you guys are doing. Great. Let me heat up more hot chocolate. Any more marshmallows? Well, there I was in the middle of the greatest sandstorm to hit the desert in years. All right, folks. This is where it happens. Right here. The whole town's gonna show up right here for the Glimmerberry Gathering. So we want this place spotless. No, 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 no. Now, everybody, look lively. Look lively. <laughs> Come on. Let's move it, move it. Together, all of us. We are gonna need some extra hands on this one. All righty now, folks. On the count of three. One. Three. season of the year. Okay, now, let's make this whole place sparkle. Some very cold weather 
help. We'll get it done faster if we work together. first frost. <laughs> yes, here it is! It tells all about the first winter in Berry Bitty City. I bet everybody would love to hear it again. I'll read it here in the cafe and invite everyone in Berry Bitty City. Come on, you two can help! It's very beautiful. So original. So one of a kind. Well, thanks. I've been putting my whole heart into this entire collection. <laughs> you outdo yourself every year, Raspberry. I just feel, what's the point of doing something unless it's the best? So, I'm not stopping till I get it totally, completely, absolutely right. Like you said, I really want to make something original, one of a kind, never been seen before. Well, come on, Custard and Pupcake. We better let Raspberry work. Oh, I'm having a reading tonight at the cafe. I'd really like it if you could come. Huh? Oh, oh yes, of course. Mm, I'll be there. Pupcake. <laughs> Strawberry. In the old days, this was my favorite part of First Frost. This is a very fun time of year, with celebrations and the Glimmerberry Ball and Glimmerberry Gathering. But sometimes, maybe we forget how important it is. That's why we always used to read this book, The Great Glimmerberry Gathering. It tells the story of the very first First Frost. Long ago, when Berry Bitty City was a very bitty place, everyone worked hard to help the new town grow. Together, they planted the seeds that would become the beautiful, bountiful Berry Grove. <gasps> but the first winter of that first year was not easy. The weather turned quite cold. Some of the townsfolk were trapped in their houses by snowdrifts, and others had to dig them out. Some townsfolk ran low on food they stored for winters, and others shared what they had. As the days went by, it only grew colder, and colder, and colder still. It looked like the young berry plants might die. That's when the first glimmerberry was carved and made into a beautiful glowing lantern, because it was important to... Wow! They've been carving glimmerberries that long? That's right, for many years. Oh, I have no idea. Yeah. And so today, when we take the carved berries to the I field, never knew there was a, a real reason for it. I thought we did it because it's fun. It is fun, but it's also important because... This year, I'm going to carve the most beautiful berry ever. Of course, we have to remember why we carve the berries. See, in the story, it says... Oh, oh. I'm going to start work on my daring design right now. Oh, me too, me too. But don't you want to hear the rest of it? Oh, yeah, but I really want to get working on some designs. Why wait till the last minute? I am going to absolutely outdo myself this year. Great idea. Let's hurry. Time's wasted. Gotta get busy. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. But, um... Oh. I guess... They didn't think the story was so important. I'm sorry, 
Strawberry Princess Berrykin? Maybe the time wasn't right. But someday, Strawberry, you'll help them see the real reason for the gathering. I know you will. <sighs> But not good enough. Not original. One of a kind. Never been seen before enough. Hmm. I'm going to put my whole heart into this one. It's got to be the greatest, most beautiful. Hmm. No, that's not it. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes! Oh, yes! I think I'm on to something. A little bit more here, a little bit less there. That's it! I bet no one has ever seen a design like this before. <laughs> Glimmerberry design? No. I mean, maybe? I mean, I don't know. I mean, why? I was just asking. I didn't see it. Not even for half a second? Well, maybe half a half second, but that's not why I stopped by. <laughs> I just wanted to be a surprise. <laughs> I understand. I want my design to be a surprise, too. I just wanted to ask if I could borrow some drawing paper so I could make my Glimmerberry design. I have it in my head, but if I don't draw it soon, it might disappear. <laughs> of course. That's how my idea came to me. It just seemed to magically pop into my head. <laughs> Here you are. Ooh, this one seems pretty good. Nice shape, right size. I think I'll go for it. How about you, Strawberry? Any luck? I'm leaning toward this one. What do you think? It's a beauty, all right. Huh? Hey, Raspberry, have you picked a Glimmerberry to carve for the gathering? Oh, uh, yes, I have. And I better hurry home to carve it right now. <laughs> what was that all about? She wants her berry to be a big surprise. <laughs> Where's everybody going? Over to Strawberries. We're going to show each other our Glimmerberry designs. Are you coming, Raspberry? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm certainly sure not going to show anybody my design until my berry is carved. Sure, Plum. Go ahead. It took a while to get it just the way I wanted it. But what do you think? <gasps> it's oh, almost exactly like mine. That's fantastic, Plum. Check this out. I did one sort of like it. Hey, I did too. What do you know? Me too. Wonder how that happened. It happened because Orange copied my drawing. But, but, Raspberry, I haven't even seen your drawing. Uh, well, of course not. Then how could she have copied it? Uh, well, she saw blueberries, and blueberries saw plums, and plums saw lemons, and lemon saw mine. You're just, uh, joking. Right, Raspberry? <laughs> I do not think this is a joke. Now, let's stay calm and figure this out. I worked very hard on that design. I wanted to make something special and totally original for the Glimmerberry Gathering. I put my whole heart into it. I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. Of course there is. Everybody copied me. You can count me out. I'm not going to carve a Glimmerberry this year. But, Raspberry, we need you. We can't have the Glimmerberry Gathering unless... everybody's there. You know, I don't like to say this, but maybe Raspberry's right. Maybe Orange did copy my sketch. 
I didn't want to say anything either, but I was thinking Lemon might have been copying too. I hate to even think it, but I have a feeling maybe Plum did copy my sketch. Uh, Strawberry? We have a little problem. I'm starting to think that there has been some copying going on. Oh, Plum, really? Blueberry was hanging around my place that day and... I heard that. Am I being accused of copying? Look, I'm just saying... But it was Orange who copied me. I didn't copy anybody. Are you sure it wasn't you who copied me? Now, come on, everybody. Let's not get carried away. Carried away with what? We're talking about copying. Oh, I did it. Copy. Girls, who's copying? Uh, girls, we're talking about copying. Who's copying who? And one accused the other, and on and on it went, and now... No one wants to carve berries. And without everyone cooperating together, well, the gathering just cannot be. Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to cancel the celebration. Thanks, Custard. Oh, Cupcake. I know you want to help, but there's nothing we can do. Won't be needing this anymore. to do. Meeting! Meeting time! Meeting at the cafe! Blueberry, raspberry, orange, lemon, everybody! Come on over as soon as you can! Tell everybody! Anybody! Everybody! Important meeting right now! What's this all about, Strawberry? Yeah! What's so important we had to run over here? I wanted you to hear the rest of the Glimmerberry Gathering. We never got to finish. But why? There's not going to be a gathering this year. Please, everybody, just stay and listen. When I'm done, I think you'll understand. Custard, the lights. <laughs> When that coldest of cold winters hit Berry Bitty City, the whole community worked hard to save the newly planted grove. But the weather kept growing harsher, and they knew the young plants weren't going to make it. Then, the littlest berrykin had an idea. We can carve out the frozen berries we do have, he said. And we can put glow bugs in them. Why would we do that? the others asked. If we took them to the groves, he explained, they might keep the plants warm. At first, they only laughed at the little berrykin, but then they understood. It was their only hope. If the plants didn't make it, they'd have no food to eat and no power to run the little city. So they worked together and took the glowing berries into the field. <laughs> and it worked! The plants were saved but only because every single person in Berry Bitty City brought a lantern to help warm the berry plants. The people of Berry Bitty City saw that they had to depend upon each other, the way they depend on the glimmer berries. And so we celebrate the glimmer berry gathering every winter. Every person in Berry Bitty City carves a frozen <laughs> berry lantern. The whole town comes together and lights their lanterns in a circle. It is a promise everyone makes that the community will come together and help each other in the hard winter days to come. Friends helping friends. And that is what the gathering is really all about. Oh, oh my. I've really been acting so very silly. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Do you see this? Here. Wait! That's... that's... that's my design! That's right. And I drew one just like it. Hey, me too! So did I! We all did. I think you all saw it when I opened the box. But you didn't realize you'd seen it. 
That's how you came up with the same design. We all did. Oh, then... Then... I accused you all of copying me when you didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you can kind of, sort of, oh, forgive me. Well, sure, Raspberry. If you can forgive me. And me. Me too. I think we all overreacted. Oh, look, everybody. It's getting really frosty outside. I bet the berries are very frozen and perfect for carving. You had better hurry if you're going to get the glimmer berries carved in time. How about this one? Looking good, Orange. Uh, you missed a little spot there. Is everybody just about done? Yeah! Oh, give me another oh, second! Oh, oh. Give me another second! I'll let him know it's time. Could you please tell the glow bugs we're ready? you 